What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to tell you the best settings for Minecraft and how to get the most FPS in Minecraft. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to download a client, for example Lunar or Badline. Those are the most popular I guess. You can also download Labymod if you want to. Now also what you can do is if you don't want to have these clients which I don't know why you can download Optifine which is just a free mod or version of Minecraft which will give you also a tremendous FPS boost so there are plenty of tutorials for them and you can just search it up download them and then come back to this video so once you have done that you want to go into first the snooper settings you want to make sure snooper is off because they will take some fps so it's better to turn it off now in the main kind of fps tab the video settings here are my settings and these are the absolute best settings except for render distance which is eight now graphics you want to set it to fast there isn't really much difference between fast and fancy as you can see not much difference but the FPS difference is huge you want to turn off smooth lighting off and then smooth lighting level off now the DUI scale basically depends on what you want I like to keep it on large you can do normal or large it's up to you now for brightness you want to put it all the way to bright dynamic lights off and now let's head over to render distance now this will affect your FPS the most you can set it all the way to 64 if you have enough RAM but as you can see I'm kind of struggling here because there's a lot of air loaded so yeah you can set all the way to 64 and as short as 2 now 2 will give you the best FPS but you really won't see a lot of the map so if you have a decent PC and you still want the best FPS, I recommend to set it to 8 or to 12. View bobbing is basically so your screen kind of moves left to right as you can see. And your character kind of moves his hand a bit. That's basically it. You want to turn it off. I mean it's up to personal preference. I like to keep it off. VBOS this you want to turn on because as you can see uses an alternative rendering model which is usually 5 to 10 percent faster so I suggest you use it don't touch alternate blocks because it might crash your game now let's go over to details in details you want to turn off clouds you want to put trees to fast you want to put sky to off you want to put sun and moon to off or you can keep them on I usually don't like to keep them on but it's up to personal preference fog you want to turn this off because it just it's just bad translucent blocks you want to put this to fast dropped items also fast vignet I don't know how to pronounce this fast so warm colors off cloud height off rain and snow off so basically if you turn on stars if you have a custom sky in the background it will just disappear so if you have a sky turn it on if not you can turn them off show capes on fog start 0.2 Held item tooltips off, entity shadows off, alternate blocks on, and smooth biomes off. Now we're gonna go over to animations, and this is very simple, just click all off. Now if you like the particles, you can put them to all or decreased. Minimal is the best setting. Now over to quality. Um, you want to turn all of these four sliders off and the way you want to do this most people don't do it right 
and sometimes they crash their game but how you want to do it is you don't really want to drag you just want to go over to the end with your mouse and click once and this should just turn it off sometimes people drag it they click uh, too many times and, and it might crash their game clear water I was kind of experimenting with this setting I don't know what it does I just keep it to off you can put it to on because I don't know what it does uh, what I think it does uh, it's clear and transparent when you're in the water so it mostly won't help you maybe it will I'm not sure better grass off custom fonts on connected textures off custom sky on if you have a custom sky and if you like it then put it on custom entity models on emissive textures off random entities off better snow off custom colors on natural textures off custom items on custom GUIs on now most of these are just supplied by your own texture pack so if you put these all to off no matter what pack you have everything will look default now over to performance do not turn on smooth FPS because it will kill your FPS as you can see I have 500 FPS if I turn it on look at my FPS drops over to 340 yeah um, I kind of like having high FPS so we're just gonna leave this off fast render on turn it to on chunk updates one so if you go if you go higher the chunk updates will happen quicker thus the map or the world will be loaded quicker render reagents you want to turn this on if you have a dedicated graphics card if you have a bad GPU or something then don't just turn it on just leave it off smart animations you want to turn this to on smooth world again you want to turn this to off fast math you want to turn this to on dynamic updates off lazy chunk loading off now into the other settings lagometer off show fps this is basically if you don't have a client you can turn it on weather off full screen on 3d anaglyph off screenshot size default debug profiler off advanced tooltips this will give you more fps if you put it to off but basically what it is is just this minecraft bow and then the id 261 so basically that's it time default full screen mode default auto save 24 minutes and show gl errors off well except if you have a lot of crashes then you want to turn this to on so you can actually see what is happening and post it to a forum of some kind but if you don't have any crashes then just leave this to off so basically this is it the best settings which you can possibly get in minecraft 1.8 now what you can do is you can download a client like lunar or battleline or labi mod and you will get more fps if you have downloaded a lunar client i suggest you watch my other video on how to get the best fps on lunar client and i also go through all the mods which are useful so check it out if you think the video is good and helped you leave a like because it will help a lot of other people get more fps in minecraft subscribe also if you like this content and i'll see you in the next one bye